channel I hope you're all doing really really well as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be doing my second Christmas gift guide which is actually for him this time I really hope that you enjoyed the for her one I hope I captured everything I hope I captured everything in this one because I was saying in the last one that it is so difficult when it comes to him like I feel like I could literally write two or three lists of what to get for her but with him I was literally sat there like um, like what the hell do I get after this? I have no idea. But I just thought about like when I buy for the males in my life, like what do I usually go for? Like the only, it's quite difficult though because like when I do buy for like my brother for instance, he's the most pickiest person on the planet. Like don't buy him clothes, don't buy him trainers, it's just not going to work. So I have to get a little bit I have to start thinking outside of the box when it comes to that one, but I thought about the other males in my life and what I tend to buy, pop them down on this list, and I hope I've got some good ideas for you to help you buy for this special male in your life. So, without further ado guys, make sure you grab yourself a cuppa, I've got myself a nice black coffee which is very much needed again i've got quite a few videos to film today because i was lagging last week i was so annoyed with myself i didn't manage to film as many videos as i wanted to so today's the day that i'm filming i'm getting shit done so the coffee is very much needed make sure you've got yourself one light the autumn candle grab the snacks and let's just get into this video so I think the first thing to get a male, or the first thing that you might want to get a male, which is probably the most obvious thing, is aftershave. Like, I feel like that is a go-to. Like, if you do not know what to get a male, just grab an aftershave. Like, you can't go wrong with it. Honestly, you really can't. You probably know the kind of, what they smell like and what kind of fragrance they like. So, I used to work in the perfume shop, actually, for about two and a half years. So, I know the staff are, like, really helpful. Like, if you go in there and you say to them, right, they what they like this kind of scent or this is the previous perfume that they've liked, they will 100% be able to guide you in the right direction of, like, a newer perfume that they're going to like as well so they've got you covered if you do need to if you don't know what to get but you kind of know what to get in a weird way don't know if that made sense probably didn't so aftershave is always a good go-to the best ones that I've bought in the past and that have been really well received are the Gucci perfume which is really nice I can't remember which one it is it's in the silver bottle well it's not it's in a clear bottle and there's like the silver rim that one's a really nice one also Dior Savage that is an amazing one I think a lot of men like that one um what's another one if you're going for like a little bit um like on a lower budget like i said in my last one guys i will always try and do like a higher budget and a lower budget one just in case depends what your budget is for christmas so i thought i'd pop a couple of options in there but another one um that's on a lower budget would probably be um davidoff cool water i know that one's well received um the hugo boss ones definitely range in price you can get them a little bit cheaper as well if you wasn't spending too much on the aftershave but also a good place to go where i I tend to get aftershaves sometimes because I feel like I've bought my brother so many aftershaves because I buy it like every Christmas and every birthday. Um, I tend to get him like, um, sometimes I get him some from Zara so he can wear them like every every day instead of like wearing the really, really nice ones every day. So Zara is a good place as well. Again, I find places like Zara and Next, they do a lot of dupes in there. So if you do go in there, have a good sniff of the aftershave and you'll nine times out of 10, you'll find one that you really like and is very similar to something that is probably a little bit more expensive. So they're like, you your two ends of the scale and um, another thing it, to buy is maybe a wash bag I found these a lot on Amazon uh, Amazon no I found these a lot on ASOS that you can buy really nice wash bags you can buy some Tommy Hilfiger ones you can buy some um, Armani ones Armani Exchange is on there as well I think that's always a good gift for a male it's probably something that they wouldn't buy for themselves as well so you could do that and then to go inside of that which would be another gift you could always buy them like a shaver set 
set or a groom, grooming set or something like that to go inside as like an extra gift. I know a good one uh, for grooming sets is Bulldog. Um, they're really reasonably priced as well, but they're actually really well made. Like they've got like the bamboo holders and things like that. And they have like a lot of like shaving creams and things and you can buy them on in sets on Amazon. So I know that's good, but if you did want to go like, if the purse, if the male in your life is um, well groomed and they use like clippers and stuff themselves then um, the wall, I don't know if it's wall or wally, I can't remember, those shavers and clipper sets are like one of the best, I know barbers use them, I think, <laughs> I think uh, barbers use them, in fact to be honest I should probably ask my friend. So moving on from that, in fact you know what I was going to mention this later down in the list but I'll just mention it now as we're talking about grooming and things like that. Skincare is another one because again, I don't think males probably buy skincare like us females do. We are obsessed with it. We're literally buying skincare all the time. So they probably don't do it as much. Um, they probably see it as such a feminine thing to be honest, but it's really not like everyone should look after their skin. So I would suggest the Clinique. I can't really think of any other sets that I would buy a male. There's probably quite a lot out there. Like the Body Shop is probably a good one, but if you were gonna buy like a quite uh, if you're gonna buy like I don't the reason why I say this is because me personally I don't like to buy skincare that's uh, like cheap cheap skincare because it ain't gonna do anything there's no benefits it's probably gonna break you out so I if I when I do buy skincare I do tend to go for a really really good reputable brand such as Clinique I think they're really really good I've got so much of their stuff and the Clinique men is really good as well again they've got so many sets on ASOS and um, they're sold out at the moment which is really annoying um, and like three or four sets on there ranging from like 25 pounds up to like 40 45 pounds so it just depends what you want in the set and also the sizes that you want in the set as well you can obviously also just go on Clinique and buy the sets and buy them individually if that's what you wanted as well but I would highly recommend Clinique if I was going to buy um, a skincare set for a male this year. Let's take a sip one second because I feel like I'm rambling so much. I don't usually talk this much in videos. I feel like usually I'm showing clothes or something. So I feel like I'm rambling a lot. Another one, actually. Actually just thought another one that makes no sense but the ordinary I mentioned that in the previous gift guide for females but there's no gender to it so I would say the ordinary as well because that's definitely a cheaper alternative it does work um, but yeah I definitely look into it a little bit more because I know they use a lot of like hyaluronic acids and things like that so look into that one a little bit more but that is definitely a more affordable brand for skincare. Moving on to fashion, um, a coat, you can never go wrong with a coat, like a nice North Face one. I think like especially around about this time of the year, especially in the UK, it's winter for about 10 months of the year and then we, you know, we get summer for the rest. So a good coat is definitely the way to go. I think a nice puffer or like a nice bomber jacket would be really nice. Um, a North Face one would be really nice. Um, but also I feel like Topshop and H&M are definitely really, really good quality when it comes to coats and they range from obviously different prices that you could get just like if you want like a thinner one probably about 30 pounds something 30 40 pounds but then if you wanted to get like a really good thick quality coat puffer then maybe about 75 pound or something like that so I would say that's more of like mid lower range but then if you wanted to spend a little bit more money then probably going up you would go to like North Face and then if you want to spend a little bit more money than that then maybe like a Montclair coat or something but that's obviously like that's like your top range isn't it so yeah there's loads of different ranges to go to but I genuinely think like a nice black puffer coat would be quite a good gift. I don't know about you but I don't feel like I feel like males have such bad wallets and card holders. I feel like they hoard their card holders and wallets for years absolutely years like they're literally falling apart and they will still continue to use it so a good gift i would think is a wallet or a card holder you can get 
like I say, with this one, it's like completely up to you. It depends on your budget because you could go anywhere for a card holder. Genuinely, you could go to Primark and get a card holder. Topshop, Zara. In fact, no, I don't think Zara. I've not seen any in Zara, but Topshop for sure. Um, but you can also, if you wanted to spend a little bit more money, then you could go like Tommy Hilfiger, um, Armani Exchange. They're sold on ASOS. They're really good and they probably range like maybe about 50 to 60 pounds. Um, a Reese one would be really nice. I absolutely adore Reese. Um, that would be really nice. And or obviously you could go a little bit more expensive and you could go to flannels and you could get yourself, well not yourself, you could get the male like a really nice maybe Burberry one, Balenciaga one or something like that or like a Prada one, even though they are more expensive, they're not actually too expensive, I think like they range from like 150 to 200 pounds, so it's not too, too expensive, but gosh, you can get card holders absolutely anywhere, it just depends on how much you want to spend. Speaking about Reese, that would be, honestly, that would be probably one of my go-to shops if I was shopping for a male, um, because their, their clothes are just so so good i love the quality but i also love the style of reese clothes like they've got a lot of like trench coats and jumpers and they're very like on trend and the quality is just top quality um i would definitely go in there and maybe pick up a nice reese jumper or like like say like a nice reese trench coat I think that would they would be really nice. They do like a lot of smarter stuff as well. So if if the per, if the male in your life is like a professional, um, it has like a professional job, or maybe they just like the tailored look, then I feel like Reese would be a good shout as well. So if you're really really stuck on what to buy for like a male, but you know that they enjoy the gym or they're a gym fanatic, or they want to get into the gym, or something like that, then why not get them a fitness bundle, like an active wear slash fitness bundle, don't know what you want to call it, but how about you like create a hamper or something like that, and you could pop in some fitness goodies from my protein, for instance, you can actually go on the website and pinpoint what you are wanting to do, so if they're wanting to lose weight, or if they're wanting to gain muscle, or whatever it may be, you could put that in and then they'll give you so many different suggestions on what to get, so you could get them like a good protein shake, some accessories, you could get them like some uh, goodies like some good snacks and things like that you could put that in there you could also grab them some active wear maybe so this is like a second gift but you could put that in there as well so you know any well you could go anywhere for active wear like I said in my last video active wear I think definitely should be spent a little bit more money on because of the way that it makes you feel the way that it fits the quality that, oh god the quality is so important when I tell you I had the worst experience when I got some low quality things and yeah I I love Primark like I love a Primark believe me and I buy active wear from Primark from time to time because I love like the styles obviously the price points really good and things like that now girls let me tell you I was on the treadmill and I was running and I was doing a couple other things on the treadmill and next thing you know I just hear a rip girls it was so embarrassing it was so embarrassing and the thing is I wasn't wearing like a jumper or a jacket or anything that I could even hide but literally this seam all along my thigh up to you know had ripped completely completely I honestly did not know what to do at that time it was so embarrassing I had to walk around the gym to go out and get in my car I was so embarrassed I honestly was so when I tell you to buy good quality active wear I, this is the reason why it's not because I'm bougie, it's genuinely because I do not want to be naked in the gym. Like, I don't want that. I would definitely advise getting a nice gym wear set. So Gymshark, Nike, Adidas, things like that. Maybe pop that in a bundle with some like protein shakes and some snacks and things like that. Maybe like resistance band or whatever. A nice little hamper of that. I think that would be a good idea as well. If you've got someone in your life that really does enjoy fitness or is about to start the gym. Maybe like a little starter pack for the gym. I think that would be received really well. Keeping on with kind of fitness, kind of not. It depends. You can buy this even if you're not into fitness. But I think another good gift would be an Apple Watch. I am 
I love it. I've got an Apple Watch here, set it in the gift guide for the girls as well. Like, an Apple Watch is just a good way to go, or a Fitbit or something like that. And then if not, if, if maybe not, because obviously they are quite pricey to be honest, maybe some AirPods. That's on my Christmas list to be honest, that is definitely on my Christmas list. So, um, because I've been doing a lot more walking and things like that and getting into exercise, AirPods are just such a good way to go because I currently have the wired ones and it's just it's just annoying when you're running and you've got a wire hanging down it is actually really annoying i don't think you'd think it would be but it is um and the airpods obviously i think they retail for about 150 pounds so a little bit more pricey but i do know that you can go on asos and they do other ones as well like i know sony do some um skinny dip do some what I wouldn't advise is what I did is I went on Amazon and I bought some that were about £25 and they lasted maybe about a day and a half and they broke so I wouldn't advise that. Definitely would advise getting a branded one if you're not going to get Apple, um, the Apple brand then I would definitely recommend getting a different kind of brand so you know that the quality is still going to be good but I think that's such a good gift as well. Now if, you're, if the male in your life's not really that bothered about technology and not really bothered about fitness or anything like that then maybe just a normal watch would be nice you could obviously you can get watches ranging from any price can't you i feel like the male ones because they're a bit more picky could be a little bit more expensive but you could go from obviously you could get like a tommy hill figure one um a little bit lower price you know um armani one you could i feel like watches are very much unisex these days i don't feel like unless it's like pink like got a pink strap or maybe not maybe they might like a pink strap but i feel like unless it's got something that stands out like that i feel like watches are pretty much unisex these days like they're silver or gold like it doesn't really matter so you could get a watch from anywhere i feel like when i look for watches i tend to look on beaver brooks or asos um, ASOS only do like a small collection of watches though like tends to be like Michael Kors, Armani, Tommy Hilfiger whereas um, obviously Beaver Brooks do you know Gucci they do like so many different brands so I feel like if you were going to spend a little bit more money this Christmas and you just wanted one really really nice gift that's going to last a long time then a really nice watch would be nice. Okay so like I said in the beginning of this video my brother's very difficult to buy for so I genuinely do have to think outside the box. <laughs> A little bit so I remember one year I actually got him an experience um, a virgin experience and they have so many different experiences on there you could rate they range from like hot air balloons to spa days to you know going to London for restaurants and things like that like they range from everything don't they I actually got him a um what was it it was a, a like a sports car what do you call them I can't remember like what it's actually called but it was like a sports car day I don't know what it's called basically um bought him two tickets to go and drive a sports car like they rate like Lamborghinis Ferraris R8s like all of that stuff I think if your guy is into cars <laughs> which most guys are if they're into cars then that's such a good day like such a good day out and um, you can buy like them for two like two sets maybe you want to go or maybe a friend like I did like he brought a friend with him to go and they really enjoyed their time there like what guy wouldn't enjoy just riding around in a Lamborghini like for a couple of hours I mean come on I would love that um, but yeah, a good experience day. If you can't think of anything like material to buy, then an experience day would be good as well. Not too many to go. We've only got a couple. The next thing I've put down on my list, as well as like when I was mentioning watches, is just jewellery in general. Like a nice stackable rings are nice, a nice necklace. And I think the place to go when it comes to things like this is definitely Thomas Sabu or Sabo. I don't know how you want to call it. But they have some really, really cool pieces when it comes to jewellery for men. I like it. A lot of dress jewellery. A little bit more expensive because the quality is really good because I've bought from there before. Um, but the dress jewellery is so nice. And yeah, I would definitely recommend going to Thomas Sabu for like male jewellery. Um, the next thing is trainers. I think most men wear trainers to be honest depends how picky the male is in your life but trainers are a good shout 
I can't tell you what trainers specifically because obviously everybody's different but obviously what's on trend at the moment is very much like chunky trainers and um, chunkier trainers um, but then also I feel like you can't really go wrong with a pair of Vans, a pair of Converse or a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. I feel like those three shoes are just very like basic and majority of people like them so that's always a good shout as well. And the last thing that I put down is just a little bit of coziness so a nice dressing gown. I feel like males probably don't buy dressing gowns for themselves. I know my brother doesn't buy dressing gowns at all. It tends to be my mom that buys it to be honest but yeah a nice dressing gown wouldn't go amiss and some nice slippers. I think that would be a good gift as well if you just was really struggling on what to get them. Just get a nice dressing gown and some nice slippers. Okay guys well that is the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this gift guide. I've enjoyed filming it. This is the end of the gift guides. If you've not watched the gift guide for her then I'll pop it up in the cards for you guys to watch. I feel like there's some really really good ideas over on there. Hope I've given you some good ideas and inspiration on what to buy your mail this Christmas. Fingers crossed that I have. I know it's quite difficult out there girls. So I got you. I got you back. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Before you go guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in my next one. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs>